Gotcha! Bonefish fly is just as it sounds. A fly for fishing bonefish in the flats that seems to get them to strike much more often. You will want a short to medium shank saltwater hook in size 4 to 8. This size 6 Gamagatsu SL45 works really well. Start your thread behind the eye of the hook and secure it with multiple wraps. For thread, use a heavy denier in a pink, orange, or red. I'm using Danville's 210 flat waxed in hot orange. Now we are going to measure out and cut a hook length of mylar rope, or also called minnow body. Pull out the inner rope. Separate the mylar braid on one end. And this is what you're left with. Now tie it in so about half a hook length is extending out rearward. Make tight wraps to keep it from spinning and wrap all the way back to the bend of the hook. And fluff up the ends a bit more. We will now add some pearl braid and wrap your thread back to about two eye lengths away from the eye of the hook. Now we can tie in the bead chain eyes. For more information on tying in bead chain, click the bead chain link at the bottom of the video. Like always, add a drop of super glue to keep the eyes in place. Now we will wrap the pearl braid up the hook shank with touching wraps. Then I like to make a crisscross wrap over the eyes before capturing the braid. I also like making a few wraps in front of the braid before clipping off the excess closely. Now rotate the hook in the vise so the point is upward. We will be clipping off a clump of tan craft fur. Make sure to pull out the under fur before tying in. Also, you can pull out some of the longer hairs depending on the size of the fly you're tying. Tie in the craft fur just above the dumbbell eyes and trim off the excess as close as you can. Then make a few wraps to smooth out the head of the fly. Next, we are going to add a few strands of crystal flash. Tie in two strands on one side of the craft fur on an angle to match the craft fur. Then take the excess strands and tie them in on the other side of the craft fur. I like using gold crystal flash, but get creative and use whatever color you want. Now make a few wraps to cover up the crystal flash, and then whip finish the fly and cut off the thread close. For the final step, we are going to cement the head of the fly. You can use regular head cement or super glue. However, I like using a product called Bone Dry made by Solarez. It's a UV curing resin that is super thin, penetrates the thread wraps well, and cures quickly. Just paint it on the thread wraps with the built-in applicator and add some over the eyes. Then zap it for a few seconds with your UV light. And there you have it, the very popular Gotcha fly for fishing the flats for bonefish. As you can see, it is relatively simple to tie and uses a small amount of materials. It moves nicely in the water with a great jigging type action. It also lands upside down with the hook point up so it is relatively weedless. Even when swimming it, it moves really well. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now go catch some fish.